Now I'm going to go through some paperwork and let you see that everything I'm telling you is the truth. When I first moved in, I was told by two neighbors, but one black and one white, that this was hell. The projects. I didn't believe them because I'd lived here several times before. In 84. And it was my Hawaiian boyfriend. So, I didn't have any problems with management then. I've never had problems with management anywhere I've ever lived in my entire life until I moved to Madisonville. Well, MHA are devils. And the projects is hell. If you're a good person. If you're one of them, you don't have to worry about it. I moved in, my daughter, and here's the Housing Authority playground rules. Now, MHA staff will call the police and social services on you if your child's unattended. Well, that's bull. Uh, I know for a fact that until we got all kinds of new rules and they started becoming the thugs themselves after the other thugs got out. They started enforcing this, maybe, just to harass parents over their children. That's what devils do. I had been harassed by Michelle Thomas's kin and friends. She started. the la and Next to the last thing she said to me is, if you want trouble, I'll give you trouble. Well, I went up here. And all they done was send her a letter. Now, about eight days later, she went and got one on me. I proved that to the federal HUD that I didn't say anything to her. And also, I recorded her again after this complaint, told her not to have any contact with me. Saying, you're special, real special. I ain't going nowhere. How about that? I contacted Kentucky Housing. And I was told, pretty much sorry about it. They did tell me that they'd move me. Where could I go, you know? Unfortunately, well, I also contacted Kentucky HUD. I'm still looking for that document. Termination. And I also said religion. But look here. Race or color is marked. Religion is not marked. Disability. The devil's cover for devils. And that's just a fact. And I had all the paperwork to back this up. They're not going to do anything about it because they do retaliate. See? If people didn't retaliate, they wouldn't have that box, would they? Now, my plaques has been up for four years, but after I contacted Kentucky HUD and Kentucky Housing, it was an issue. Now, this says, per my conversation with Sam Husky. Sam Husky has some serious issues, and that's my opinion. He used to be in the military, and I think he thinks he still is. Now, I haven't till tomorrow, because on this... This has happened years ago. To get the plaques off. This is an eviction threat. You must understand the rules here apply to everybody. Well, you saw in those photos that I took April the 5th, 2013, of other people's houses, uh, other people's porches, and other violations that nobody dealt with. The rules here do not apply. That is another lie.
to everybody. Now, my conversation with Sam Husky, unfortunately, I didn't record that, so he just went up there and documented whatever he wanted. But he didn't tell me to take him down. You see, this is what was this is what was going down. He was going to pretend he told me to take him down. And see, when I went to get my rip, get a rent receipt, as I pulled up on my cycle, on my scooter, Connie had a surprised look on her face. And I looked at her. I thought she was surprised because I was on a cycle. But what it was is she was surprised that we made contact because I don't believe I was going to get this. Out of all these apartments, she only had one evic threat for me, but not anybody else with those porches that you saw. Yeah, trickery. Oh, they're good at that. I'm going to show you more. The Massimo Housing Authority and contacted Kentucky Head and Kentucky Housing, and of course they contacted them. They're in cahoots. The plants I had had sitting outside, out back, or tomato plants, and they were in their own pots, and I had already had plans to give them away. They weren't an issue for four or five months until I contacted for Kentucky Head and Kentucky Housing. Then they were an issue. She even came by. Complaint, case number. Well, looky here. Alleged discrimination was just race. I had to take it and write in religion and disability. This is a copy. They left out religion and disability on purpose. And this is a joke. Okay. I was given a black investigator when I had a discrimination charge on a black manager over a black neighborhood with a black family. Now, I'm not racist. I done proved that. But add this up. Now, John Johnson executive director is a black man. Here's an email from a black friend I've known forever. And she, see, I even tried to apologize to keep the drama down. And she even said 214 should have apologized to me talked to her son and he should have apologized to me and that would have been that and kept it down at night and of course left me alone now she says everything's in the hands of Kentucky housing that's a joke now she also says that their jobs at state level Kentucky HUD, Kentucky Housing would get on it. And they would want to know why the situation had been allowed to happen for so long. She said that when uh, the director come knocking on my door, I hit a nerve. And she supported me and told me to stand my ground. Like she knows I would. Kentucky HUD and Kentucky Housing is a useless corporation of thugs. That's my opinion. So, after Connie and them kept on, kept on, kept on, the more they done, the more I had. I contacted Federal HUD and they Took some action. The more they did, the more I had. I had a meeting. 
And it wasn't teen, just teens. It was grown people. It was people who lived here. It said police recently reached out to the public. Police can't do nothing because they're too damn medicated. It was played down that it was just noise and some drug activity reported. But it was vandalism and threats and more. Devils to annoy, harass, and torment. Some was on Channel 14 News. Still not all the truth. Of course not. Now, after I told Connie that I didn't put my toter out, it had two bags of trash in it, not even to the top. But other people could overload their toters and sit out there for weeks and nothing was done. It says that there's now a $10 fee. Before, it was a verbal $10 fee. See, they can tell you anything. Make them show you in writing. And peaceful enjoyment, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, I don't bother nobody. Threaten the health and safety. If they can come up with any little thing to threaten the health and safety, they tell you they can put you out in three days. Well, make them put you out. They want your stuff. You'll you'll learn about that later. Acts of violence among fellow residents. Well, later on in a video toward the end, you will see a riot where the residents were going around just beating up each other. No, I'm not kidding. By landlord. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. forward there was some minor things between me and housing after that they left me alone for a little while like um my kitchen flooded they let it flood for the weekend i'm going to do all those videos also but in um the ninth month of 2014 they moved in some new neighbors it was a young couple with a child and for six months, they had moved in prior to this, didn't hear a peep out of them. You know, nothing, nothing major. Then, somebody put them up to blasting me out. The boy went and bought those car speakers that go in the back, brought them in the house, left the boxes on the porch. I knew what was up. Yeah. So after months of this, and I believe I was in school at this time, going to college. I asked him one time, he had friends, and they were sitting on the porch, it's recorded, if he would please turn it down a little bit. So he was booming in the house, but everybody was on the porch, and he said, uh-huh. And he did, so everything was cool. But later, at 8 o'clock in the morning, he comes out on his front porch and booms the apartment so bad that the stuff was rattling on my walls. I videoed it. Because I know Shauna Boone was not going to do anything about it. I knew housing wasn't going to do anything about it because he's black. That's just plain and simple. So it escalated. One day he left the apartment and left it booming. So finally after I'd had enough, I added all the videos up. And I took it to the housing authority. And then to Bill Rudd, because I knew Shauna Boone wouldn't do anything. So the boy was doing it intentionally. And then one day, I asked him, he was booming really loud, and it's recorded, I'm going to let you hear it. I knocked on his door, and I said, excuse me, hon, could you please turn that down a little bit? And he says... 
oh, I can't, I've got to set that high. And I said, I don't want to call the police. Well, you're going to have to. It's 12 o'clock, middle of the day. Another neighbor, again, throws her trash in my can. So I filed two complaints at the same time. Devils don't want you complaining on their devils. And that's just the way it is. Now here's a Kentucky state law about retaliatory conduct. Forget about it. You have to do your own justice. That's just the way it is now. Here's a Kentucky state law about changing rules. You are to be given a 30-day notice, yada, yada, yada. And it also says that the tenant has to agree to it. Well, Shauna Boom told me that she wasn't going to do anything about it, even though I gave her absolute evidence that he was harassing me because other neighbors didn't complain. Well, other neighbors don't complain because they know how Kentucky, I mean, that they know that MHA will retaliate on them, write them up for trash in their yard or anything. I mean, just anything because vindictive demons is what they are. And in 2010 and 2011, she didn't do anything either. See, history repeats itself. I had a boy in 2010-11 harass me with music, and this boy did it again. A different person. He did stop, however, but other stuff occurred. Rudd, that I believe he was put up to it because he hadn't done it in the six months prior. And Bill Rudd said, call the police. Well, the police that always comes here is black. Probably can to them. Bill Rudd done nothing then. Bill Rudd does nothing now. I've been feeding birds for years. I'm going to try to find all those photos. And I would put a cracker right there. Bird would fly in and get it. And that's it. And for years, I kept a thing of water right there. And the squirrel would come up and have a cracker. Now this is me and my black and mixed cousins that I had to show Bill Rudd. And Marky was acting silly and I gave him a funny face. It is Camp 86, August 17, 2014. Now, when the walls are paper thin and when you put in super speakers that are in the back of a car, yeah, but they did nothing about it, so I had to make videos and do something about it myself. And justice for all is a lie. You have to get your own justice. Years. I didn't throw food in my yard. I put crackers outside on my wall as you saw now this one time i did put chicken in the back of a, my truck and boom come beating on my door i'm going to show you that video but after i complained and busted out again one of their own harassing me she says she got complaints of me throwing food outside my apartment that's a lie See, if you don't do what Connie McReynolds says, she makes it hard on you. Yeah. 
I'm going to show you more. Please refrain from feeding the animals. It was not an issue until I complained on the boy. Good reference. I was going to move at the time, but I wouldn't want anybody to call her because she would sabotage it because she wants me here because she wants to play with me. My personal opinion. I am going to make videos with uh, and share it with you, but we're going to jump forward here to July 2015. This is after I put my YouTubes up and Sam come beating on my door because I put a note up and I'm going to show you that video. No, I won't take my videos down. It says, I am sending you to inform you that the city cannot put a handicapped parking spot in front of your apartment. First of all, I contacted the city personally. Madisonville Housing Authority had no business even getting into it. I didn't ask for a handicap. I asked for park, marked parking because they don't know how to park here. They're on medicated. And it says, I have instructed maintenance to take the gate from off the porch. Well, I put the gate up, been putting the gate up for five years. Maintenance has to have access to my apartment. Well, as I showed before, or I will show, this is more harassment. This is because Sam Husky come beating on my door and I would not answer it. I don't jump to him. I don't jump to Connie. I follow the rules, but I don't obey them. If you move into housing, you better learn you're going to have to obey them. And this is after the new director. How many directors has MHA had since Connie's been in charge? And she's in charge. Up oh, Some of them about no refills. And after a maintenance person tried to get me to sign a blank work order, I'm going to show you that video as, as well. I get this to come to the meeting. First meeting I've ever had. And I did call. But I got this on a Friday after 4.30. And nobody knew anything. I called Whitney Wardrop and she didn't know. So Ladrina finally just said it was a rules review. And you get to see that in person. Stuck the notice in my door. And it says here everything will be either hand delivered or mailed. What if it had blowed out the door? This is what he blasted me out with. And there's his porch. Nothing was ever done or said to him the whole time they were there. You see, in 2014, I had my gate up and it wasn't an issue. Understand the rules apply to all. No, they don't. Now, when I went for this rules review on August 18th, I took this picture. That's Connie's nephew's porch. That's a tire. That's a trash can. Another complex they have. Look at that junk. Now, when she threw a fit about me bringing my toter in, I brought my toter in to clean it. Because I don't use my toter. You see? Clean. She tells me a young boy puts out all the toters. She lies. This is a grown man. He's disabled. He puts them out. Sometimes he puts them in. Sometimes he don't. A small child. You're going to hear this. She says a small child puts toters out. Them toters sometimes weigh 200 pounds. A small child couldn't do it. He was allowed to feed birds. Honey, you can do whatever you want. This stayed out there for weeks. It's a release violation. 
is it had a molded pumpkin out for months. I'm going to show you. Now that's failure to dispose of food. Pumpkin is a food. That's mold. That's a trip hazard. But you're going to see in another video that she just steps right on over. She don't knock on his door. Property that they own it. And you will hear Miss Booms yelling that you can't even have a bird bath. In another video. I would say that's a safety violation right there. It's blocking the half of the walkway. But that's not me. That's somebody else. Look at all them plants. Why I asked to have parking spaces lined off because this is how stupid, medicated stupid people are here. Always been a no-no to cook on the porch. Oh my. This is what was on my door when Sam come beating on my door and they left me a note about the gate. Yeah. Here's a lease violation. 2015. Flat tar and leaking oil. Well, it's now. 16 and it's still there. Now this neighbor's had trash that in her yard for years. It's still there. It's the same porch. You see at MHA, if you're black or one of them, you can do what you want. You don't want to move there. Now, I can't feed the birds or animals, but they can leave trash and stuff on their porch for the whole time they were there. But that's okay. Now look at there. That's fair to dispose of trash properly. But I can't feed the birds? Yeah, you're going to hear that video. Now my toilet was put out and it was empty after I had put the videos on YouTube. Not by me. These gates before forever. See, there's a gate. There's a gate. And by the way, these crosses have been taken down and some of these people have been moved since then. See, the crosses are down. Yeah, you don't think it's about religion? You better get with the program. My gate was okay to have that up then. And there's that pumpkin. In another video, you're going to see Connie about to fall over it. You're not supposed to have an indoor chair outdoor. It's supposed to all be outdoor chairs. You could fall over them shoes. That's a safety violation. Fall over that rug. Oh, my. MHA, they video and audio record everything. Well, so do I. After I insert some other recordings, then you're going to see the real them.